welcome back to the show, House Intelligence Ranking Republican Devin Nunes. It's great to have you back on, Congressman. You're also the author of the new book, Countdown to uh, Socialism. Uh, Congressman, former acting DNI Rick Grinnell just told us moments ago that he says there are intelligence agencies that are sitting on more information that the American people need to know about how truly bad it was when it came to the came to the corruption under the Obama administration with the Trump Russia and the Flynn probes. So do you have any information about that? Well, look, it's a complaint that I've been waging for now almost four years that they've been sitting on this information. You started to see some of that come out last week in the Flynn case and more is just out uh, in the last few hours. And now it appears like uh, there were national security letters that were, uh, that were received. So this is another way to spy and get phone records on at this time, these were Trump administration officials. Uh, it looks like this had happened around the February time frame, for sure on General Flynn, at least as much as we know. And it's the same players involved. So how are they getting this ability to spy in early 2017 when they knew that the Steele dossier was bogus, that it was a uh, you know, potential Russian agent? So these are the types of documents that remain people, and I think hidden from Congress, which is why I've been saying, you know, in addition to all the things that are out there after you get through all of the corruption, you then have to deal with all of the high-ranking officials that obstructed our investigation, my investigation. These documents show that clearly. We issued subpoenas, but all the documents you're seeing today would have fallen under that subpoena who hid them from Congress. It's a straight-up crime, and they need to be sentenced for it. So the, the Flynn case was falling apart in late 2016. The Trump-Russia collusion.